This is Raptor News. When God created the heavens and the earth, you never heard him mention the creation of a son of God or a God. He created men, he created demons, he created animals, he created the heavens and the earth, but he never created gods, he created angels or sons of God. He never created them. And no one ever witnessed the creation of gods or sons of God. Those are added infiltration by pagans to the scriptures. Today we're going to prove 100% without a shadow of a doubt Jesus Christ is just a prophet. He is not a God, neither is he the son of God. If he was God, he would know the time and day. He don't know anything. He don't even know the season of the fig. Luke 24, 19, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet. Which was a prophet. I don't even have to say nothing else. It already told you he was just a prophet. Everything else is an added infiltration. Mighty indeed in word before all the, all the people of God. Acts 3.22 For Moses truly said unto the fathers in the Old Testament, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you, and that's the house of Israel, of your brethren, Israelites, like unto me, like unto Moses. So I'm going to raise you up a prophet like me. God never raised up a son, or the son of God, or God's. God said, tell them that all the gods who didn't create the heavens and the earth will perish. Why would he create gods whom he going to destroy? He always destroyed gods because every god other than him is an idol. And I'm going to tell you Christians again, you are idolaters. The worship or service of anything besides the creator, and that's the meaning of idolater, is idolatry. The penalty for idolatry is hellfire for eternity. You ain't getting out of hell. God don't do partners with his soul. God said, I am God alone. I created the heavens and earth alone. I do everything alone. He needs nothing from his creation. His creation is nothing but servants to him. Now we're getting it all straight. Acts 2.22. What is Jesus? A just a man. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth is a man. He's what? He's just a man. He ain't a God. He ain't the son of God. He was a prophet sent to the lost sheep of, of the house of Israel. They took Jesus. They turned him into Christ crucified and they made him into a God and the son of God, which is a lie, an infiltrated lie, because God says, I don't change. He never sent any humans to be sacrificed before, nor did he send any gods before. Neither did he send any sons of God. If you hear, see the sons of God, that is an added infiltration by demonic heathens. Jesus of Nazareth is a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as you, are, you yourselves also know. You already know he ain't nothing but a man, and God did those miracles. He ain't no magical man. He got no powers. When you're hearing that all power is given to me by God, then where, where is God's power at then? It's idiocy. John three thirty four. Where did God just faint and, and die on the floor because he had no power to breathe or live again? It's dumb. John three thirty four. For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God. Now we need to find out any prophet that God sends only speaks the words of God. All these prophets are so-called prophets in the camps. Because it ain't no prophets. They are liars and deceivers. And they coming in the name of Jesus. And they saying, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, which is proven to you by this verse that they, they, they not of God. Because a prophet can only speak the words of God. Let's find out. And anybody who God sent, God didn't send them. God said in the book, I sent not these, uh, these shepherds. These prophets, I didn't send them. Because anybody God's sin do, does word again, devil trying to make me stutter, come in the, in the name of God. Only speak the words of God, like Raptor News. Deuteronomy 18, 18, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. 
the Israelites, the Hebrews, like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, meaning that he only going to say what I command him to say. And he shall speak those words unto them, Israelites, all that I shall command him. So he under the commandments of God, he ain't saying, verily, verily, I tell you, I do shit on my own. That's a false God and a false prophet and a false son. John twelve forty nine. For I have not spoken of myself, says Christ, but the Father which sent me. And what did God say? I'm putting my words in his mouth and he shall speak my words. And Jesus is saying what? I didn't speak of myself, but the words of God that sent me. He gave me a commandment and he shall speak all that I shall command him. What I should say and what I should speak. So Jesus Christ, again, is just a prophet. It's just a prophet. It's just a man who is a prophet and God did those miracles. Quit trying to make some kind of superhero. It don't work. It's a lie. It causes confusion. Numbers 12, 6. And he said, hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. So God is going to make himself known to the prophet. John 17, 25. O righteous God, the word has not known, the world has not known you, but I have known you. God has made himself known. And these have known that thou hast sent me because you sent me a vision or a dream and made yourself known to me and I have known you. Deuteronomy 18:15 The Lord thy God will raise unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee not for the world for you of thy brethren like unto me unto him shall you hearken. John 5:46 For had you believed Moses you would have believed me you would have hearkened to me. For he wrote of me. And who is speaking here? Moses is speaking. Deuteronomy 18, 19. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. I mean, he accountable for these things. Then said Jesus in John eight twenty eight, Then shall you know that I am he, and that I do nothing of my own self. I don't do miracles. Neither do I speak presumptuously. I do nothing of my own self, but as my Father has taught me, I speak these things. I can only say the words of God, meaning he is only a damn prophet. Quit making him into something he ain't. Deuteronomy 18, A prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord. All prophets speaks in the name of the Lord. We don't have to read the other verse or finish reading it because it don't apply. The only thing I was looking for out of this verse is a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord. Even when a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, he still just speaks in the name of the Lord. Psalms 118, 26. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of, of the Lord. Right? And now in Christ, Matthew twenty three thirty nine. For I say unto you, you shall not see me henceforth till you say it. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Not coming in the name of Jesus. Not Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, not coming in the name of the Son or the Holy Spirit. You coming in the name of God. Matthew twenty one eleven. And the multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet. This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Mark 6, 4. But Jesus said unto him, a prophet is not without honor, talking about itself, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. He called himself a what? A prophet. Matthew 21, 46. But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude because they took him for a prophet. So the multitudes are saying he's a prophet. The, the, the scribes are saying that he's a prophet. The prophets are saying that he's a prophet. He is just a prophet. Luke seven twenty six. But what when went ye out for to see? 
So Jesus is saying, where did you go out to see? A prophet? Yeah, I say unto you, I'm a prophet. You was looking for one, here he is. Luke 13, 33, Nevertheless, I must walk today, Jesus speaking again, and tomorrow, and the following, for it cannot be that a prophet perishes out of Jerusalem. He didn't die on no cross for your sins. John 7, 40, Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said of a truth, this is the prophet. So all these verses cannot be wrong, saying, look how many it is, saying that he is just a damn prophet. He ain't no God. He didn't do no miracles. He said of his own accord, he can do nothing. You know, God did those miracles in the midst of you, as you yourselves also know. He was truly a prophet. This is Raptor News.